Welcome back to your final part of advancements for mCrater 2020.5. Today what we're going to be covering is the reward system and showing some examples of how you can use all the different types of rewards. So there are four different types of reward options in mCrater. There is XP rewards which basically give the player experience. There is the reward function. So what this will do is it will run a series of commands. I'll explain how that all works in just a second, uh, like later in the video. And then there are reward loot tables, which can basically call loot tables that you've created already. And reward recipes, which is a really nice little addition that allows you to unlock specific recipes when you complete the actual advancement. So we'll start with the XP and I'll show you how that all works. Let's hop in game. All right, so we're currently in game. If we go into our inventory, go to miscellaneous and then grab our starter generic item and place that in our inventory. As you can see, we have gained experience. So if we go into survival, so our game mode survival, and you can see that we have experience now. So that's basically the how the experience one works it's basically the when you're actually giving the experience it's not the level that you're giving it's the amount of experience that you're get, giving so obviously a hundred only got us to level seven of experience it will vary depending on how much experience you give for that reward so just something to note on Let's move to the next one. So we're back in our generic item. I'm just gonna set our reward XP to zero. Now what we're gonna do is run a function that I've created. Now the function that I've made is just off of the Minecraft wiki for functions. Basically what it does is it teleports the player up five blocks. It sets the block at the current location of the player. So the location where the player was just teleported from as an emerald block and then what it does is executes the command at the current location of the player and sets the diamond sets the block to diamond so this should run on any particular permission level i think i'm not entirely sure how the functions all work but it's under the minecraft namespace and we've given our uh, reward function or the function a uh, ID. So let's uh, hop in game and I'll show you how all this works. So we're now in game with the function enabled. So if we go to our inventory, grab the item, place it in our inventory. As you can see, it's run the function. So it placed the emerald block at the right below our feet and then it teleported us up five blocks and then basically placed a diamond block below our feet. So that's basically how that works with the functions it just basically runs it at the player's location uh, this will vary depending on what commands you have and what system that you basically run it from but that's basically what it does so let's move on to the loot tables and I'll show you how that one will work so I'm going to disable the function again and then what we're going to do is enable loot tables so I have one already made it's called reward loot and we're going to just quickly take a look at what it's going to do. So if we go into reward loot, I have it to give a basically a diamond helmet, diamond chest plate, diamond uh, leggings and diamond boots always. So this will always have those four will always spawn. And then what it's going to do is randomize a amount of items. So anywhere from a diamond gold ignit, iron ignit, or give emeralds and the, the weight and everything is varies depending on what one it basically gives. So that's basically that. Uh, to enable it you just click the green plus icon, drop the, select the loot table you want and then you're good to go. Just make sure to save it and let's hop in game. So we're in game again and let's grab our item and we will now get a bunch of different items included when we actually make the advancement. So we got gold ignits this time and we got a full set of diamond armor. So that's basically how the loot table one works. And the last one is actually the recipes. I'm going to demonstrate that right now. So first thing that we're gonna do is disable the loot table. And then what we're going to do is select a recipe. So same idea with the recipe, just click on the green plus icon, select the recipes that you want to basically give. 
and then you want to save it. So the recipe that I'm basically giving is the one for a basic block. I had to make a basic block in order to do this, but it should give us this recipe for the when we actually complete the advancement. And we can check that by opening up a, a crafting table afterwards. So let's hop in game and I'll show you how this all works. So we're now in game, I'm in creative because I have to grab the item. So if we grab the item, plop it down, it should list that we've unlocked a new recipe. So up here as it says that, if we open up our crafting table, uh, we'll go here. This will be the only recipe that we have unlocked currently. So as you can see, this is how it's displayed. So that's basically how all the reward systems work. Uh, they're really handy for creating things and basically rewarding the player for creating a or completing advancements. Other than that, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.